other goal song for uh, Pyeongchang. <laughs> that's true. That could be actually. That's a good one. In celebration. Mm -hmm. It was a fun to sort of loosen up and just dance a little on the ice. Yeah, it was actually really fun. The Team Blue uh, did it. Uh, it was pretty, pretty funny to see that on the Jumbotron. And we just jumped, jumped on the train and did it as well. So no, it was a great time today. And it was a great game, great atmosphere. The people that really uh, screamed, we, we felt it on the ice. So it was really enjoyable. It was nice to see you get, have another great game, not really surprising, but you know, how does it feel in a game like this where you've got so many people watching to showcase your best? Uh, it was really fun, I think. Yeah, I really appreciate that people that came out, the little girls that came out and support that, and being able to play with other players uh, it was really exciting as well. It was a great game, lots of goals. Uh, I think it was back and forth, so really exciting. Maybe not so fun for the goalies, but for us it was really fun. <laughs> Yesterday you mentioned you, you didn't like playing against Rebecca Vint. Was it nice not having to worry about that today? <laughs> yes, it was. We played on the same line today, so it was really fun. Uh, we joked around a little, and uh, no, she's a great player. She's really fun to play with, and uh, I'd rather on my team than playing against her. How important is it to see so many uh, young girls in the stands, the future of women's hockey today? Like, how, how important that is that for the future of uh, women's hockey? Yeah, it was really great. I think uh, just knowing that maybe one day you want to aspire to play in the CWHL, you want to play in that game maybe. So I think it was quite fun to see. At some point I took a look around and see how many gir little girls there were in their stands. And we all started that there, watching uh, my models to play on, in the Olympics, and now they watch us play in the CWHL here in the NHL facility. So hopefully one day they can dream about playing in the CWHL, playing for Toronto, Montreal, Calgary, either or, and uh, inspired to, to be part of that great league. Would you like, would you like to see All-Star Skills competition uh, next year as well? Yeah, it would be fun. That would be a little change, and we'd be really excited to change it around, for sure. Did anyone say anything to you about scoring those two big goals back in uh, Sochi? On the ice today? Or in the locker room, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. We, we just uh, enjoyed the moment, and uh, it was just really fun to be all together. The one-year countdown for the games in Pyeongchang are coming up. Do you have any goals that you have set for yourself going into that? Well, for sure, hopefully make it, make the team. I think it's a big step, and uh, I mean, it's going to be another great year uh, next year, hopefully. And uh, I mean, get better every day. I think being able to know that it's already there a year from now, being in Pyeongchang, and I think. Uh, Every time we talk about the Olympics, it gets me fired up and gets a little spark going and every day go back to work and get better. Since we're talking about the Olympics, <laughs> in Sochi when you celebrated that game winning goal, you looked almost like, oh, I can't believe it was me again. <laughs> what would you do if you scored the game winner again in Pyeongchang for a gold medal? That's a great question. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's pretty far ahead, let me tell you. I don't know. I think it's going to be in the moment and uh, we'll see what's going to happen and I don't have a question. Uh, after the success of hosting the All-Star today, do you want Montreal to host it next year? Or would that be great for the city of Montreal? That would be really great. I think with the Bell Center game that we had this year, we had a lot of people that came out and supported us. And I can't imagine if all the best in the league all come uh, together and play Montreal. I think uh, we would get a great support. But every time we get here in Toronto, uh, it's been better every year. So it's just, it's just amazing to see, to be honest, the growth of women's hockey and little girls that come out and support us. Did you like playing with Salonier? You were playing with her most of the game, were you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the second period. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How'd you like that? Uh, no, I'm kidding. No, she's a great, <laughs> she's a great one to play with. I have the chance to play a couple of times with the national team, and uh, mm -hmm. she's so dynamic. She's so skilled, and uh, being able to, to see her on the ice, I'm just my jo my jaw drops every time she has the puck. She's so uh, she's really good, and uh, she made me look good today. <laughs> have you seen her improve over the last couple of years? Like since the first time you played with her? Oh yeah, she did. I think she got more confident. She she got uh, more poise with the puck, and uh, you can see. I think she she gets better with the year goes. So. Uh, be excited for her and for her next year. Um, now you're going to go Sonia and Johnston, you know, they're going to become your opponents next week when you guys visit Calgary to play them. How important are those games ahead of the playoffs, uh, given the rivalry that you have and what happened last year? Yeah, it's going to be really uh, ex two exciting games. I think we all know it's going to be intense. Uh, we want to get those wins for sure. And this weekend, we want to enjoy to play together. Okay, but next weekend, it's going to be a, another another weekend. And uh, the last two games of the season, I think it's going to be a great sign up for the playoffs uh, after those two games. Thanks. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.